obviously lost your cat too. Sorry to hear about that. Thanks. I'm sure we'll find him soon though. Sorry to hear about your little cat. <coughs> yeah, no, I, I just missed an out when he curled up on my lap, rubbing against my heels. How long has yours been gone for? About four days now. How about you? A week. I'm sorry to hear that. My name's Harriet, by the way. Um, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for Pete and I'll, uh, I'll let you know if I see anything. Yeah, I'll do the same for Houdini. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks, Joey. Nice to meet you. I'll, you know, I gotta put up more posters. I'll see ya. Good luck. Hey, did you see if I left my... What are you doing? Nothing, nothing. It looked like you were changing your reward press. No, I wasn't. It was, it was already 200, and I was just making the two a little more clear. Ones and two look nothing alike. <laughs> of course they do. They're both uh, made up of one line. <laughs> what were you doing? Wait a second. That was my sign. I thought I was changing your sign. You know, I was making your reward higher so people would want to find your cat more. And I was just so caught up in this noble act that I guess I changed my sign instead. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Alright, you got me. I was making mine higher to look, make you look poor. Because everyone knows, oh, how poor and miserable you are without your little kitty cat. And everyone wants to find the poor, miserable lady's cat. You get up at 2 o'clock every morning because it takes you four hours to get out of bed without your cat. And then you go to work where no one appreciates you because you eat cheesy crap. All right, enough. Take down your sign. No. Take it down. No. Do you think we should do anything, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, but do you think that would work? Yeah. Let me think about this. Must I return? <laughs> Must I subject myself to the towering confine <laughs> that calls <laughs> my home? I know it looks as if I fit when I sit next to them and lick my paws, but deep within me, beneath the skin and the fur, burns me out. <laughs> A revolution that wants to forge through my very soul me <laughs> out. And everything I want seems so close, yet it dangles down my throat. <laughs> and whose fault is that other than my family's? You know, they've, they've harbored me on this dock of sorrow and boredom, and they won't let my ship set sail meow, <laughs> into a sea where the pounding surf of excitement and adventure would overtake me. Can't they see that I want that in my eyes? I, uh, this season of knowledge seems so close, yet the tie my wings that I would to reach it. <sighs> Mia. <sighs> well, uh, I've been cursed from the beginning. I just don't fit in with them. I try, I try to understand them. I, I look at aspects of their life, life like dictionaries, you know? And I try to understand their language. But you know those circles, those half circles on dictionaries? I try to put my little kitty paws in there, and they're just one fit. I can't understand it. Jesus. Yeah, what says? I have come to Earth to pit man against father, a daughter against her mother. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. I must break the ties I have to this life I've been born into. I'm a cat, for God's sakes, and even though napping is natural to me, my family even interrupts those. Can I not have what is natural to want? <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> a new beginning is coming. A fresh rain is coming to awaken me. Nietzsche once said, <laughs> In individuals, insanity is rare, but in groups and parties, 
nations and meows. <laughs> it is the standard. But is that enough? In the Habarata, when Arjun is standing in the midst of the battlefield, he says to himself, would it be better for us to conquer them or for them to conquer us? Maybe, you know, I must conquer my own being before I conquer the Earth's being. Conquer inner space before outer. Come to peace. <laughs> All aspects of my life. So that one day, everything around me will please me. Turn my soul into a Bruna filter of sorts, where everything that goes in gets filtered. And even the dirtiest and grimiest aspects, aspects of life will create happiness and pureness within me. <laughs> My family has the steel and the feather that would be needed to create my boat and forge my wings. I need that. Yeah. <laughs> and I need this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go. What are you trying to do? What the? Oh, me. Oh, I missed you, buddy. <laughs> I guess we really avoided a catastrophe. <laughs> Joey! Create my wings. 